Not gonna lie guys, wish I was still asleep. But alas, I am not. Nothing a little bang can't cure. It's like the first time every time, you know? So good. Milton. Mitty. All right, time for the first food of the day. It's an Atkins bar. Surprise, surprise. Okay guys, I am here for lunch. I have made taco salad in a bowl. Uh, I just whipped up this ground beef. Uh, now, feel free to watch my meal prep from Sunday if you see why I didn't really feel like cooking on Sunday. To be honest, not in the best mood now, but I mean, this is delicious and I'm gonna eat it. Using up my leftover sour cream. Bought some pre-chopped onions because I didn't feel like cooking. Some regular cheese because I didn't feel like cooking. Gonna use up the rest of my hot sauce. I'm already on my Powerade Zero for the day. Also, now one thing I did buy was these little guacamole packets. I'm gonna take a Quest chip, dip it in here. Mmm, that's good. Guys, it says spicy on the package. It's never spicy. It's, they just lie, but I fall for it every time. I get the spicy one every time, but I'm gonna enjoy this with my nachos and I'll be back. Okay guys, I am back. That taco salad was amazing, uh, but I am left unprepared for an afternoon snack. So I just picked these up. It is a Slim Fast protein shake. Of course, I was looking for the keto peanut butter cups because I looked at the ingredients of those and I was like, oh my God, those really aren't that bad. So I was gonna buy them, but they did not have them in Meyer. So I picked these up without looking at the ingredients and like, we got some stinkers on here, okay? So uh, like canola oil, maltodextrin even, like just stuff that I'm like, meh probably wouldn't pick up if I'm looking to eat super clean, but this week I'm looking to eat super convenient. So these will work. Uh, it has one gram of net carb in the whole thing. So it has six total carbs and five of those are fiber, one net carb. Uh, these will fit into my macros. So I'm gonna have this. It has 20 grams of protein. So to balance that out a little bit, I'm just gonna pour in a splash of heavy cream. So let me give it a taste. This is the mocha cappuccino flavor. And also apparently it's caffeinated. So hey, nothing wrong with that. Tastes like a Slim Fast. I mean, not bad, not amazing. Okay, a little cream and bloop. About a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. Just something to give it a little fat. Can't help but shake it when it needs to be shaken. Oh my gosh, that makes it so much better. What? Cream is delicious, like by itself. So this is good, this will do. I've had a couple sips and it is kind of filling, so that's good to know, but I'm just gonna drink this, have some gum, and then I'll be back for dinner. Hey guys. So, full transparency moment. After I had that Slim Fest, I felt bad for like the rest of the day. Like my stomach hurt, it was in knots, and I just really didn't feel good. And, you know, that mixed with like the general depression I've been in lately, I was like, screw it. If I'm not gonna feel good, then at least I want something to make me feel better emotionally. So. I got a Big Mac and fries and ice cream and I don't feel bad. <laughs> like, it made me emotionally feel better. Now the crazy thing is, my stomach doesn't even hurt anymore, like, like physical pain, but I honestly feel better. Like, the Big Mac and the fries and the ice cream made me feel better. And I can just pick up and start tomorrow. And that's the good thing about keto. Just everything about the past week has been really weird. 
uh, and I am just gonna keep moving forward. As long as I can do good more days than not, then that's all that matters. So I'm gonna do good tomorrow and I urge you to do the same. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, and monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. Thank you, and I'll catch you next week.